Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel Chemistry Live UGPG. So today we are going to talk about carboxylic acids and, and its derivatives, lecture 3. So this will be highly be useful for BSc chemistry students under CBCS syllabus. So I have a simple message for you guys. Please think for innovation, be creative, learn everywhere, anytime and help to learn others. So this is the unit carboxylic acids and its derivatives uh, under unit 4 uh, for semester 3 CC6 paper. So today we will be covering uh, typical reactions of dicarboxylic acids, hydroxy acids and unsaturated acids, succinic, lactic, malic, tartaric, citric, malic and fumaric acids. So introduction to dicarboxylic acids. So the general formula for dicarboxylic acid is CH2 whole N, COH and COH. So when C, uh, CH2 whole N, the, when this N equal to 0, so this becomes simply oxalic acid, COH, COH. Then CH2 whole N, when N this N equal to 1, so this becomes malonic acid, CH2 COH, COH, malonic acid. When this N equal to 2, then this becomes succinic acid. When N equal to 3, that becomes glutaric acid. When N equal to 4, then that is adipic acid. When N equal to 5, then this is called pimelic acid. When we heat oxalic acid, we get formic acid and carbon dioxide. Similarly, if we heat malonic acid, we get acetic acid and carbon dioxide. So here the bond making and bond breaking takes place in a cyclic manner giving rise to enol form of acetic acid which again tautomerizes to give rise to acetic acid. Similarly succinic acid if we heat it we get succinic anhydride. So here the OH has lone pair of electron so this lone pair of electron can act as nucleophile it will take the proton of another hydroxyl group. So this OH bond will break on oxygen. When this O- minus will attack this carbonyl carbon, it will kick out water as neutral water molecule, giving rise to or resulting the succinic anhydride. Similarly, if we treat oxalic acid with sulfuric acid H+, plus, it gives rise to carbon dioxide plus carbon monoxide plus water. So this is the structure of oxalic acid. So OH lone pair can act as nucleophile, it will attack the electrophile H+. Plus. So it gives protonated form of OH2+. Plus. When this oxygen lone pair will come back, it will break this CO bond on OH2+, plus, giving rise to neutral water molecule. And it gives a protonated <coughs> form of carbon monoxide. When this lone pair again will come back from here, and this CC bond will break on this carbon, giving rise to uh, neutral carbon monoxide and this is protonated form of carbon dioxide. And this loss of proton, so this OH bond will break on oxygen O+, plus, giving rise to carbon dioxide. Similarly, malonic acid on reaction with P2O5, let's say that is Z, so that gives rise to carbon suboxide, so this is the mechanism. So this oxygen lone pair in both the cases that will attack to the P2O5. Let's say that is Z. So we get this protonated form of hydro hydroxyl group. When this uh, uh, carbonyl oxygen lone pair will come back, this CO bond will break on this O+, plus, giving rise to minus ZOH. So as a result, you get here the protonated form of uh, carbon monoxide and this loss of uh, two protons giving rise to carbon suboxide. Similarly, adipic acid, CH2 whole 4, COH, COH, it can undergo condensation reaction with hexamethylene diamine. So it will lose one molecule of water giving rise to nylon 66, a polyamide. Similarly, succinic acid. So here CH2, CH2, whole 2, COH, COH. It is found from distillation of amber. 
So how to prepare the succinic acid? You have to start with 1 to dibromoethane. So you treat that with potassium cyanide. So you get this dicyano derivative. And this upon hydrolysis giving rise to succinic acid. Similarly, tartaric acid upon reaction with HI and red phosphorus, it gives succinic acid. Similarly, malleic acid upon reduction with hydrogen and nickel, it gives a succinic acid. The next is uh, reactions of uh, succinic acid. Succinic acid upon heating giving rise to succinic anhydride and upon uh, reaction with ammonia, you will end up with uh, this intermediate and that upon reaction with bromine and sodium hydroxide, you will get NBS, n bromo succinamide. The next is unsaturated dicarboxylic acid. So, two compounds are there, malleic acid and fumaric acid. So, this is the structure of uh, malleic acid. So, here you have a double bond, COH and COH. So, this one is cis, so this is cis form is malleic acid. And here, with respect to this double bond, the, both the carboxylic acid groups are trans to each other. So, this is known as fumaric acid. The next is how to prepare this malleic acid. So, we have to start with this malleic acid. So, this is monohydroxy dicarboxylic acid upon heating at 250 degrees Celsius. You get this malleic anhydride that upon hydrolysis giving malleic acid. Similarly, reaction. Malleic acid upon reacting with MnO4 and water, you will get major tartaric acid. Then if you start with the bromo dicarboxylic acid, you treat with alcoholic KOH. So it simply gives elimination reaction, giving rise to fumaric acid, the transfer. Similarly, fumaric acid upon heating at 230 degrees Celsius, it gives malleic anhydride. Similarly, monohydroxy, mo, monohydroxy, monocarboxylic acid, that is called lactic acid. So here one hydroxylic group is there, one carboxylic acid is there. So this is known as lactic acid, it is present in sour milk. So how to prepare this compound, lactic acid? We have to start with pyruvic acid. By reduction with hydrogen, you will get lactic acid. So this lactic acid is used in food industry, soft drinks to improve flavors. So this lactic acid upon reacting with KMnO4, it gives acetaldehyde, carbon dioxide and water. Similarly, lactic acid upon reacting with Fe2 plus and hydrogen peroxide. So it will give pyruvic acid. Then this is malic acid, that is monohydroxy succinic acid. So here, this is hydroxyl group and two Carbo, carbo, carboxylic acid groups are there. So this is D form of malic acid and this is L form of malic acid. So this malic acid is present in sour grapes, apples and berries. So if you start with monobromo derivative of this dicarboxylic acid with silver hydroxide, you will end up with malic acid. Similarly, malic acid upon heating, it can give malic anhydride and humor fumaric acid. So this malic acid is used as citric acid substitute and making medicines. The next is a tartaric acid. So this is dihydroxy dicarboxylic acid. So this is D form of a tartaric acid. This one is L form of a tartaric acid and this is major tartaric acid. So here we can Prepare this tartaric acid by hydrolysis of glyoxal cyanohydrate. So this glyoxal upon reacting with SCN giving rise to this is cyano derivative and this upon hydrolysis giving rise to DL tartaric acid. And tartaric acid upon reaction with PCL5 it will give rise to dichloro succinyl chloride. Similarly, tartaric acid upon reaction with HBr giving rise to dibromo succinic acid. So it is used for preparation of a failing solution. The next is a citric acid. So this is monohydroxy tricarboxylic acid. So it is present in lemon, orange and tomato. So how to prepare this citric acid? 
so you have to start with the glycerol upon reaction with the hcl it gives a monochloro derivative upon further oxidation it gives this oh group is oxidized to ketone then reaction with the scn giving rise to cyanohydrin upon treatment with calcium it gives cyano derivative tri cyano derivative and upon hydrolysis so this cyano groups so upon hydrolysis is converted to carboxylic acid group so this is citric acid then citric acid upon reaction with acetyl chloride it gives acetyl citric acid so this citric acid used in synthetic fruit drinks dyeing and painting purpose the next is thalic acid so this thalic acid is an aromatic acid where the two carboxylic acids are at an ortho position next is the preparation of thalic acid so you have to start with naphthalene so naphthalene upon treatment with oxygen and vanadium pentoxide at 500 degree celsius it gives thalic anhydride which upon uh, reaction with sodium hydroxide it gives a sodium salt of a carboxylic acid which upon hydrolysis gives this thalic acid then reaction the thalic acid upon reaction with soda lime NOH and CO and heat it gives benzoic acid and further treating with soda lime it gives benzene so it is used in making dyes and benzoic acid thalic acid so please subscribe our channel chemistry live ugpg so this is also available in the website www.chemistrylive.ugpg.com so this is the channel foundation chemistry ab for 11th and 12th class students so this is a simple step towards e learning making life better thank you all for learning